Good evening, Mavuno South. I hope you're well. Hope you've had a good day uh, and you're exercising caution like Adam. I wanted to take a couple of minutes of your day um, just to respond to the situation that's going on, um, you know, in the world and, in, you know, um, this, with the pandemic that's going on. So on Sunday, the government um, issued directives said that, saying that we should limit, um, you know, our contact with people. They sent our children home. Many uh, of our organizations and businesses have said right now that we should operate from home. And people are experiencing anxiety. People are shopping. There's just, there's just a lot of anxiety that has been created because of what's going on. And I wanted to speak to a, a word of encouragement. This is what our God says in Hosea chapter 2, verse 15. He says, And I will turn the valley of trouble into a door of hope. Only our God can do this. Only our God is able to turn this situation of pain, of anxiety, and turn it into a door of hope. And so I want to pray for your businesses that God will turn it around into an opportunity of hope. I want to pray for your families that God will turn this situation into an opportunity of hope. You know, as you spend time with your children, that God will be able to speak and bring hope into that situation. I also have uh, heard people asking questions. So what does that mean for us as a community who gather on Sunday morning? And I wanted to share with us some news. People are asking, will we have church on Sunday? I want to share with us we have church on Sunday. We're going to have a celebration service and it's going online. We're going to go digital, people. So we're going to have Sunday service and Sunday experiences for our teens, for our kids, and for us as adults. But our senior pastor is going to share with us some more information about that tomorrow. And so I hope you're looking forward to that. But church, I want to tell you, choose hope.